Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is basically all about how you can set up a turret tape or turret stickers. So these are basically like little uh, numbers around the top of your turret so that you can quickly dial to uh, whatever yardage you want. And it makes it a lot easier. So if something's at 30 yards, you quickly dial to 30 and that's it. So the list of things you're gonna need, it's gonna be a chronograph. I prefer using the FX chronograph. It just gives a great accurate reading. Secondly is a notebook. This is an alternative method to what I'm about to show you, but I will explain that one as well. And you're gonna need some tape, which will go onto your turret, as well as some scope stickers. So you can either use tape or scope stickers. And lastly is a pair of calipers. Uh, this gives accurate measurements in order to uh, actually make this whole setup work. As well as that, you are going to need a good ballistic calculator. I prefer using Stellar Pro. I will put a little uh, image of what the actual app looks like when you download it. Don't just use the free one because it, if, you, if you actually get the fully paid version, which is around 10 pounds, it has every list of scopes possible and that in information is very important in order to actually make this work. So you're gonna need a good ballistic calculator in order to do this. If not, uh, the notepad method may work, but it's not going to be as accurate. So the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously set up your chronograph. Take at least 10 shots so that you can get an average reading. And you need to make a note of this. So you need a note of your average feet per second. And then that way you can enter that information onto the ballistic calculator to make this work. The next thing you're going to need to do is basically zero your rifle. Now, zeroing at something like 10 yards is probably not uh, good enough. Uh, the best thing to do, maybe go for 25, 30. Uh, I always go for 30 because it's just, it's a bit easier for me, um, but you can go for your chosen method. I'd just say anything maybe between 20 and 30 is probably the best to get a good accurate reading. Okay, so the next step is measuring your scope height. So this can easily be done. You just take your calipers here and you wanna measure the objective lens and divide that by two. And then you wanna measure the thickness of your barrel and divide that by two. And then you want to measure the height between the bottom of your scope and the top of your barrel, like this. And then you take those numbers and I'll explain what to do next. So once you have your measurements, so you measure the objective lens, divide that by two. You measure your barrel, divide that by two. And the measurement between the barrel and the bottom of your scope, you add that to the number of both of these. And that's how you get your scope height. And make a note of this because you're going to need it when you put it into the ballistic calculator. So before I go into detail on the ballistic calculator, this is the notepad method. So you have your zero at 30 yards, which is zero for 30. And then what I normally do is just write five clicks up from zero, is 40. Five clicks up from zero is also 20. Now, due to the trajectories and things like that, that is how it works out. I am shooting a 177, so it does shoot a little bit flatter than a 22. And then obviously to go to 10 yards, it's 25 clicks up from zero. And you can obviously continue this for however long you wanna go, as long as you've got that uh, facility in order to actually shoot that distance safely. You can just make a simple note and then Providing you have a good uh, scope with a good turret system, I'm actually using the Element Helix 6 to 24 by 50, and these actually have removable turrets, so I can actually take these off, and there is enough room that I can actually stick the tape on. As you can see just from this video, I've just done what I've written down in the notepad just to show you. So if I'm zeroed at 30, I just pop that back on where my zero is, and it tells you exactly what it is. Obviously I have 40, but that's also 20, so I could easily just write that on there. So before I go into the ballistic calculator, that will be all just a uh, screenshot of my phone and uh, I will do a voiceover just to talk you through with the information that you need to put in and whereabouts it needs to go. Uh, like I said before, I am using Stellock Pro, so it may be different from your calculator, but as far as I'm aware, it's the exact same information. It just might be a different app that you'd need to use. So like I said before, there's two ways you can do this. You can use uh, tape. I prefer using, uh, this is basically just green frog tape, uh, like painter's tape, uh, and a Sharpie. The Sharpie also has a uh, fine tip end, so it makes it easier to write the smaller numbers. 
or you can use uh, scope stickers. There's uh, different places where you can actually get these from. I actually prefer using the Airgun 101 stickers. So you not only get some random stickers, I think I believe they're for your scope covers, or you actually get these little stickers here and they range from 10, 15, 20, 25. They go up in five. Uh, these are yards ones. You can buy meters, but you'd probably be better off sending them a message, um, as well as your parallax wheel. Now, the only issue I have found um, is obviously not everyone is shooting up to you know 275 yards. So it would have been better if they included a few more of the smaller numbers, especially for air gun users. Um, because obviously once you use, if you decide to go 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, etc. Um, once you've used them and you've dialed them in on your scope and you've stuck them down and things like that, if you bump your scope and you have to re-zero, uh, chances are the clicks um, on the stickers might be slightly out. Maybe not completely, but there is also a, there is a chance. So uh, yeah, it's not ideal. So it would have been great if they included more of the lower number stickers. Uh, you can also just obviously go 10, 15, 20, you know, you can go up in five yard increments as well, but that is totally your choice. Um, I just think personally, it would have been nicer if they included a few more, as you only get the ones that are there, you do not get multiples. But I'll now switch over to the Ballistic Calculator app and I will show you how to input all the information that you've already got written down and made a note of earlier. So this is the basic page for Stellock Pro. So when you open the app, this is what will appear. You've obviously got a lot of different things at the bottom and I'll explain most of these uh, shortly. Um, as you can see in the top right corner, that is uh, my distance in yards. That is where you'd input the distance that you're shooting at and you can press calculate and it will tell you obviously because I'm zeroed, I don't need to do anything there. So the first thing you need to do is go into this information and you're gonna, you can put your name for your rifle. Mine's obviously the FX Impact Mark III so you go into your scope details. So your zero distance is what you would zero your rifle at, like I explained earlier. Mine is uh, 30 yards. Underneath that, you've got scope height. Now that is, the, that is the measurement when you've measured your objective lens, your barrel, and then measured the gap in between that we spoke about earlier. That is where you input that. Obviously, then you've got your vertical clicks in MRAD or MAO, depending what uh, scope you're using. Horizontal clicks, mine's 0.1. And then scope clicks units, you can click into this and select MRAD. And like I said earlier, if you get the actual paid version of this app, you can go in here and there is a ton of scopes. So all you need to do is go through the list and find yours. Uh, you can search for it underneath. This is not a first focal plane scope and all your other information is all set there at the bottom, your magnification, your maximum magnification, etc. like that. Once you've done that, you go into your um, pellets or your uh, whatever it is you're shooting. So for this for this video, I was using the uh, JSB 10.4 grains. Um, that's just because I like to use them when I zero and then I move over to the 10.5 Pro Hunter slugs. So this is where you put in all of your information about your uh, feet per second and things like that. So it tells you exactly what you're shooting at. So that's uh, that's everything you need. So you just, you just basically put in the information there and your feet per second in here. Now this one you can have different feet per seconds, um, but that's all down to what you're shooting. So yeah, once you've entered all the information, you've got your scope information here, and you've got all of your uh, pellet or slug information there. You can close out of this. So that should be everything you need. So up here in the top right corner, so once you've done that, if I type in 40 yards, calculate, that now tells me I need to go up four clicks which is a little bit different from my notepad because that was when I used it last time. That was also a different um, pellet or slug I was using. So yeah, up four clicks for 40 and then 50, which is up 12 clicks. And that tells you just here uh, in the little blue writing underneath where it says reticle. So basically that is the way you can do it. So once you have these information here and you uh, have all your information regarding how far you're shooting, you can click in here, you can put 80 yards and hit calculate, it says 45 clicks, which is obviously 4.5 MRAD. So you would then transfer those details onto your turret. And that is basically how you uh, set up your turret tape or turret stickers. So the little uh, pictures at the bottom here, so you click on the first one here. Now that one is telling you at a certain yardage, this is actually 80 yards, how much you need to hold over according to your reticle. So that is another way you can uh, determine your holdovers, hold unders and things like that. 
Also, if you're outside in the wind or you have uh, like a wind meter attached to your phone, it will tell you which way to aim for windage, things like that. So it is actually a really good app. I definitely sit down and have a little play around with functions and uh, see what's going down on this app. But that is it. That is exactly how you do it. You just uh, input up here in the top right your yardage and uh, click calculate and it tells you how much you need to click up or down for whichever you're aiming at. And then you set up your scope t uh, stickers or tape that way. So that is it for this video then guys. I hope you found it uh, very informative and very helpful. Uh, I will continue to set up the rest of these. I am using the tape at the moment because I only have one pack of uh, stickers left and I want to save them for an upcoming competition just to make sure I can dial quickly rather than have to look at a little piece of tape. I just find the stickers better for me. You, uh, it's obviously personal preference for you guys. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much. If you like what you see, hit the uh, thumbs up button. Feel free to subscribe and uh, definitely check out my other videos um, because I have a lot more coming out soon. This is just the first one that I've actually had time to sit down and edit. Uh, I believe the next one will be my competition setup uh, 2.0, which will basically be an update video on uh, my competition setup. As you can see, there is a lot that's changed. There's a lot of new things have gone on the gun and uh, I just want to talk you guys through them. So thanks a lot guys, take care, peace.